Hello everyone, my name is Dan Martin with Apologia, and I wanted to welcome you to this preview on Precision and Significant Figures, a self-paced course by Apologia. I want to lead off by saying that this course is what we're calling a primer course. It is different than the other self-paced course that you may have read about. This course is intended for students who are going to take, or are already taking, either chemistry or physics. This course is intended to prepare students and introduce rounding rules that are utilized by scientists when making calculations based around measurements, or to assist the student who may be struggling a little bit and is enrolled already in one of these courses. The self-paced course is intended to introduce students to these rules in a very fast, easy to understand fashion through bite-sized modules. These modules are shorter than the modules that you are probably used to encountering in Apology of Products. The course includes 12 short modules, and these modules feature a series of readings, as well as interactive practice exercises to allow students to test their knowledge over what they just did their reading on. These exercises, as well as the quizzes that follow that test them over multiple modules, are all repeatable and utilize test banks. So when two students retake one of these exercises, they see a new set of questions, complete with feedback so they can review and optimize for the next time they take the assignment. And I wanted to do a little bit of show and tell, just so that you know what to expect when enrolling in one of these courses. And the first thing that you would see when you click on and enter the self-paced course for significant figures is the navigation. This is the standard navigation that we see on all of the self-paced courses. From the course introduction that introduces the ideas in the course, to the different modules on various rounding rules that both chemistry and physics utilize. So we can click one of these to jump to the module directly, or we can click the modules menu to view the entire course, kind of like an interactive table of contents. Every self-paced course comes fully loaded with a course orientation to help you and your student to get the most out of self-paced by Apologia. We're going to start at the welcome module. The first thing you'll notice before we even click into any of these items is that these modules are gated. Students are required to read all of the items in the module that they're currently on in order to unlock the module that follows. So you'll see right now we can't really click into module one. This means that the student will have to at least click through each of the pages that lead us off with the course. Of course, starting off with our welcome page and to proceed to the next page, we just click next at the bottom. And as we proceed through the course welcome, we see an outline and an explanation of what the course is for, what it hopes to accomplish, and ultimately how the student is graded through the progression of this course and how it is scored. Once we've made it through the introduction, we can of course start module one. Module 1 introduces students to significant figures and precision and helps them understand how these rules are important for communicating how good of a measuring device was used. We of course know that not all measurements are created equal and this becomes particularly important in chemistry and physics. Learning these rules in addition to the new ideas and concepts introduced in those courses in addition to these rules can be challenging for some students, which is why we've developed this independent course. And as we click through these individual readings, we see some very short explanation on what significant figures are with some explanation. Every single chapter will include examples, as well as real-world illustrations to help drive these mathematical rules home for the student. And each short module, as you can tell, this is a really short, bite-sized bit of reading. There's a practice quiz that the student must score an 80% on in order to progress. They need to perform well in order to move on to the next section to show that they've mastered 
the topic. These quizzes, these assessments that are labeled as check your understanding are graded. They count for the student's final score in this primer course. But this is also a fully retakeable quiz that can be taken an unlimited number of times. Now, of course, the ideal is that the student takes it, checks the exam key, we can go through the quiz, and it will give us a rendition of the quiz. I said that these assignments utilize test banks. So I'm obviously not reading the questions here, but we will click these individual answers kind of randomly and see how we do. And I just want you to see how these quizzes are keyed out to help the students. There's an explanation presence for each of these questions. And if we were to take the quiz again, we did not get our 80%. We may see a couple of the questions again, but there will be new questions mixed in to make sure that the student can succeed. And the last thing that I want to show you in this preview is really just the layout of the lat lat latter parts of this course. We see that some of the modules will be a little bit more involved when we start to introduce more rules. There's example problems to help the students learn how these rules work, how keeping track of measurements is important, and to illustrate those through example. They're then asked to do these on their own when they get to the check your understanding. We will also see that after a series of modules, in this case, after the first five modules, there is an exam. So this would be a one submission. This would be a, an exam that is fully graded for the student, and we can navigate to this through the module menu. We can also jump to it through the quizzes menu. Now, what you have probably noticed is that yes, this is a slightly shorter course than our other courses. And that's because these this primer course is designed to be either taken concurrently with chemistry and physics to really help you review and understand these rules that are being used in those courses, or to maybe take as a summer course. This is indeed a self-paced course. So if students want to work three, four modules a week, they are allowed to do that. If they want to stretch it out over the whole summer or over the whole year, the flexibility is there for you to utilize, ultimately with the goal of your student mastering these significant figure and precision rules. So thank you so much for joining us on this course tour. I hope that you join us through enrolling your student in this primer course so that they can succeed when they take chemistry and physics. Thank you so much.